Hi, this is Jeff Sloss. I'm at the Zoller Video Lab here in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to look at the Aquanaut Spin 508. That's kind of our middle system in our lineup of battery backup sump pump systems. The entry level Aquanaut Key 507 has a smaller pump. Some of the other equipment is the same, but the smaller pump and a smaller controller. With this system, you do have the bigger 508 pump, which is more about 33 to 34 gallons a minute at 10 feet. We have the operational float switch. We have some clamps and hardware here, a thread in check valve. We call this a bullhead T. It's inch and a half by two inch, and that accommodates the pump. There's a battery case, and then the controller itself. So just from a features standpoint, what we're looking at with the operational float switch is this is a fully adjustable switch. So you have the float that rides up and down on the rod, and you're able to adjust where that stopper is if you need it to turn off sooner. And then the other adjustability is where this clamps to the pipe, you can raise and lower. The pump itself is very efficient. This is more in the pumping performance of a, of a primary third horsepower pump or so. So like 33, 34 gallons a minute at 10 feet of lift, as opposed to the smaller 507 entry level, which is more like 12 or 13 gallons a minute. The T here is, and, the, and the check valve are meant to thread into your primary pump and then do a T in installation with the battery backup. The controller has two buttons on it. One is silence, one is test. Silence is obviously going to silence an alarm and also reset the controller. The test button allows you to spin the pump anytime you want, but then also from the time that you push the button, every 24 hours after that, the pump will spin. Just as a way to keep that impeller and the volute free and clear of any sort of buildups or, or minerals that might be in the water. The controller is fused and there's a slot for the pump, the operational float switch, and a high water float switch. The high water float switch is an accessory option with this system. It is included with our fit system, which is the top of the line, but you can add it to this system, which gives you um, not just a high water alarm, but also a secondary float to turn on the pump. So you've got a redundancy built in that way. This controller will also keep the battery charged and it monitors not only the battery, the charging process, it's also able to tell you if the float switches are having an issue. And then the last component is the battery box. It has these easy open tabs on the side and there is a, a, a hole on the side here for uh, if you wanted to lock out the battery box, keep small fingers away from the battery, that kind of thing. Also, the Aquanaut Spin 508 comes with a couple different pro packs. So a pro pack is when we've piped the primary pump and the battery backup pump together. So when it comes out of the box, it's ready to, to install in the sump pit. And you have two choices. These are the two pumps that you can get in the pro pack version of the Aquanaut Spin 508. This is the M53. Its performance is about 33 gallons a minute at a 10 foot lift, which is actually very similar to the 508. And then this is the M98, which is about 60 gallons a minute at a 10 foot lift. This pump is a 4 tenths horsepower and this is a 3 tenths horsepower pump. And a great feature of both these pumps is the Zoller LED plug, which when it's plugged in across the basement and you see that LED plug lit up, you know that your pumps have electrical power. So that's some information about the battery backup sump pumps, and in this case, the Aquanaut Spin 508. If you wanted more information, go to zollerpumps.com or you can look at our YouTube channel.